Hello Madridistas and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through the very latest and important update at Real Madrid. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid plan to make final offer to Kylian Mbappe. The response is expected by mid-January, according to recent reports. We are going to be discussing with you through all this episode about that and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention elsewhere as according to recent reports Real Madrid midfielder Eduardo Camavinga is expected to miss Mallorca clash on the 3rd of January. We are also going to be bringing you the details of that in this episode as we move further so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell so you do not miss on our next update. The transfer window is here. The atmosphere crackles with speculations and the immense inauguration of the January transfer window cast the spotlight on Kylian Mbappe, who is more than a familiar face in Madrid newspapers by now. Last summer after unrelenting drama, the Frenchman finally ended up committing his future to Paris Saint-Germain. However, he did not renew his contract, which means Mbappe will officially be a free agent as from January 1st and is free to sign a pre-agreement with any team starting from the 1st of January. Now, the Athletics have come out to rekindle the age-old ties between both parties. We report that Real Madrid will soon make an offer to Kylian Mbappe, but the information further states that he has time only until mid-January to give his answer. Any further delays or holdups will imperil his chances of ever donning the royal white Jesse, with a deadline awaiting his verdict set in motion. Mbappe has no shortage of suitors as teams from the Premier League have always shown great interest, which almost notably includes Liverpool. Despite the last few years imprinting the perception that Mbappe has been leading on Madrid as he continues to stay put in Paris, there apparently does not seem to be any resentment from club president Florentino Perez. Indeed, the report argues that the World Cup winner has direct contact with Florentino Perez, who is a huge supporter of the signing. However, time is running out for Mbappe and a verdict will be expected by mid-January. Having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid midfielder Eduardo Camavinga is expected to miss Mallorca encounter, according to latest reports. The Christmas break has given Real Madrid fans their fair share of festive surprises. In addition to Real Madrid officially announcing the contract extension of coach Carlo Ancelotti until 2026, some injured stars are also entering the final stages of their recovery. Vinicius Jr. and Daniel Carvajal are expected to play against Mallorca, while Adag Lay's return urges nearer. Eduardo Camavinga has also worked extremely hard to hasten his recovery period and trained with the group, but despite earlier reports cl claiming he would participate against Mallorca, his involvement in the clash is beginning to look unlikely. Indeed, as per Alberto Pereiro, Eduardo Camavinga will not play versus Mallorca. The Merengues lock hunt against Mallorca next week in the 3rd of January, while Camavinga's fitness level has improved drastically, the club does not wish to rock 
the bolt and are playing it safe with the Frenchman. After all, the important objective is to retain him at full fitness by the time the Spanish Super Cup commences in Riyadh. Camavinga suffered a knee ligament injury with France in the previous international break, which initially was anticipated to rule him out for much longer. But working vigorously alongside Vinicius as the duo lived the process together in Madrid, Dubai and finally in the USA. The midfielder has made an exceptional quick recovery and the club wants to be cautious with him now. The season is long and needlessly imperiling his involvement down the line is seen as a risk not worth taking, especially with important matches in the Copa del Rey, the Super Cup and the Champions League all remaining. So having talked on that, we have come to the end of this episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time on Hala Madrid to us all.